some people might suggest that this was truly the point where Meghan Markle roasted herself, you know, that very famous celebrity roast over in the US. But truly, why did Meghan decide to go down this particular route? As ever, we found out. Hi, good morning. How are you? Nice to see you. Thank you so much for joining me today as we head towards Christmas. Don't forget, we've got a lovely Christmas special on Christmas Day. Yeah, if you can, yes, I know. Now, you're brave enough. Well, you know, once you've had the turkey, the sherry, and that's just before breakfast, isn't it? Yeah, I know what you people, yes, I can see. Oh, just a glass of champagne after all, it's Christmas morning. Won't do, you know, I'll be keeping an eye on you, absolutely. By the way, did you know, on this day in 1913, was the very first time in a newspaper that they printed a, you know, sort of like a full crossword that was going to be an ongoing thing every day. It does make you think, doesn't it, how puzzles are part of our lives. And it's apparently quite good, isn't it, to do a crossword because allegedly keeps the brain matter going. I always get stumped. I prefer those ones where you draw around a circle, where you find a word. Do you know the ones? That, yes, you know the ones. A lot simpler, easier. And well, all the brain boxes out there have been saying, oh, Neil, please. <laughs> but back as ever to your breaking roll story of the day. This truly did roast Meghan Markle because, quite frankly, a lot of people were perplexed, stunned, bewildered. Lots of different things as to why did Meghan turn up at that particular Clever Coffee ad, you know. Now, let me tell you a bit of background because Clever Coffee is doing quite well, you know, let's be honest. As you know, Meghan and Harry decided to back the brand way back in 2020. And there was that big thing, wasn't it, with Oprah? Winfrey twittering on saying it was now her favourite coffee, you know, like we believed her after the Weight Watchers thing. Yeah, you know, you, we believed you about that, dearie, but look where that went. But what's fascinating is, you know, why did Meghan decide to go back? Well, according to that well-placed source, it's quite simply this. You know, she was looking for something that she could show off her com you know, comedic style, whatever you want to call it. More importantly, because she's a shareholder in the brand, they were quite keen to allow her in. Now, it was totally her idea. Everything, the people that she was playing, the plot, everything that they were saying, you know, they all say, oh, yes, it was a you know, sort of community idea, but it truly wasn't, you know. She suggested, how about if I do this? Her agency thought that this was a good idea because this threw a lighter shade onto all the negativity that's happened over the last few weeks, particularly with things like Endgame and, of course, the continual negativity surrounding, obviously, her treatment of the British monarchy and vice versa. So did it work? Well, no, lots of people visited the website. This is what we can tell you. Lots of people are aware of the brand already, but sales are as they are, you know? Now, maybe this was a push for the festive season. Who knows? But either way, Megan trying to say that she was kind of being a fun character, being an intern, helping out pack the coffee. Yes, it might have seemed good, but it had really echoes of 40 times 40, did it not? And look how well that went. Of course, the team are going to say it was marvellous, she was wonderful and very much a community player. She is a shareholder, after all. Of course, they're going to say that. But in terms of Megan's credibility, seemingly it's sunk even lower and given more material, yes, if that were needed, for Saturday Night Live to play on, apparently, of which they're working on now. So it truly looks like Megan, quite frankly, roasted herself. And why wasn't Prince Harry involved? He didn't think it was for him. It was her project only. Fascinating. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.